Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix. And before we go into today's videos, I just wanted to show you that uh, a lot of the stuff that we show on this channel is on the GitHub uh, repositories that I maintain. A lot is in, in uh, the GitHub slash Moshix slash MVS repository. There's dozens or maybe by now probably hundreds of utilities of all kinds like box size calculators, uh, all kinds of JCLs and many other useful utilities. Um, and then I just recently installed the Rex panels uh, repository, which includes all the source code for the videos made by Sebastian together with Henry uh, for the flight uh, information app on ZOS in Rex and DB2. So the, all the stuff is in here, including the flight data. Uh, pre-formatted it should be very easy to oh, I know it's very easy to put it up on the mainframe uh, the other thing is of course we also have a a um, a page on Facebook the Moshix uh, mainframe uh, page on Facebook Facebook um, a lot of people uh, hang out there so you should uh, go check it out and um, and uh, today's video is about how to get open source tools such as the stuff that we've come to depend on in Linux and FreeBSD, etc., such as uh, I use the less utility instead of more, uh, the Bash shell, of course, with its beautiful auto completion, uh, the GMake, um, GunZip, uh, GZip, all that kind of stuff that we rely on every day when we work with Linux. Those kind of things are not there on ZOS Unix uh, system services, USS. So for that, you do need to go and get them obtained and install on ZOS. And uh, together, Sebastian and and Henry made a video on how to get this accomplished. There's a little bit of background noise because they made it at a, at a mainframe event in Germany. But uh, I think it's very, very valuable content. I think we all uh, need to, uh, can learn something from the video. So please uh, bear with us and watch this very interesting video. Over to you, Sebastian and Henrik. Thank you. So in order to install the open source software, we require our own ZFS to store all the stuff. For that, I've created something which is not a Rex. But job. where we're going to allocate a ZFS file that we can then mount in Unix system services. That difficult the JCL, so we just submit it. Daisy as we are, we don't use a job card. Then the system will generate one for us and we just give it a name of uh, A. That's good. So now we should have created this little ZFS file. Look. And there we see that our VSAM mm -hmm. file has mm -hmm. been created. Now all we need to do, because it, this is not available yet in the in the Unix system services side of things. So we can take a little look see here. We need to find a, well, decide a spot where we want to keep it. I would suggest we do it your forward slash. Yeah, so. uh, us Dutch people are not used to German keyboards, <laughs> huh? Sure. Um, so we're going to make a rocket, like a mount point for our ZFS. Mm -hmm. Of course, we cannot do that if we are not special powers. Again. That one? Mm-hmm. Rocket. Make sure that our users can access it as well. Towards. Well, at least now it is there. Now we need to mount that ZFS into that place. Exit, quit. Yeah. How do I exit VI? Uh, exit? Yes. Yes. <coughs> oh yeah, it was an exit from the super user and then mm -hmm. the exit mm -hmm. from the logon. Now, 
I don't think I am allowed to do this with this user, but then maybe you have to log on and yep. enable the thing. We'll first show it. We go to um, probably here. Our file systems. We're just going to try and mount it, see what mm -hmm. happens. The mount point that we decided was rocket. Mm -hmm. That one? Yeah. Yeah. Then it's. We all remember the name, right? right 660. 660. Dot rocket. Reverse. Which is the set of S, and we're just going to leave it like. That. Ah, you're not permitted. I'm not allowed. So, so now we need to do a fast do. forward and make you log on. Remember that one? Yeah. I just start another session. So all the open source software for ZOS is on Rocket. Or yes, most of it. Most of it. Yes. So well now we we will make the, um, the ZFS where we can store curl, uh, gzip. We can add Python to it later yeah, if we you want to, to add that Python. Would be very cool. Is too. Python fully functional on ZOS? Like every different package. Well, yeah. Python is fully functional. Of course, if there are specific, what is the word, modules or frameworks for Python that you normally, in, you know, you do a pip install flask, yeah, that might not work unless you have the full building scheme on your ZOS as well. Mm -hmm. So what was the... But, oh, TSO, spay, TSO is hell. IS, yeah, TSO is hell. And then you go to the file systems. And yeah. Gonna mount and three, yeah. Rocket. That's the mount point that we, you know, we we decided to store it. Put that there. Tell the system it's a ZFS, and I think that's enough. Wow, it worked. It worked. Great. Let's switch. So then we should be able to go back to our services session and now keep forgetting these buttons as you now can see that this file system is now mounted on that nice. on that mount point mm -hmm. so now we have to bring in um, bring in the stuff to install the other stuff and we start with gzip so See if I am still. Yeah, this is this user ID is far too high, so we're gonna change that to something nicer. So now you're Moshix. Now I'm Moshix, <laughs> owning all your stuff, Moshix. Sorry. Um, let's go. We're gonna create a directory called um, Egypt. Oh, and the Z's on a different spot uh, too. This one. <laughs> How do you guys work like this? Hey, okay. yep. And I've already downloaded this, so I'll just bring it in, but you can then make maybe a recording to show how it's done. Um, three, two, three. This one. Yeah, that one. And no. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. It's a keyboard thing. I'm not going to try this too. Set minus O VI. So then, yeah, we have history functions. A bit and tab completion. So that's much nicer. And now we can do. minute you now press at least in this session escape K that's the history right so you can go back and forward mm -hmm. see if we can find the completion key as well
Take that one probably. No. Oh, that's good because we didn't download them, so we need to do that. Ah, okay. And then upload them and make it work. To do an FTP. Yes, then do an FTP. So maybe that's something you can. You have an account in Rockers? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. But I forgot the password. <laughs> that's okay. We can use mine. Okay, then let's go. And people can hack my password. Huh? Wrong password. No. No, no, no. Password. Right password. And that on a German keyboard. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Let's download something. Huh? Downloads. Yeah. We go to downloads and we're gonna we're gonna start with gzip because all the rest of the products Zip. are gzipped. So I, I would just go to the filter list and type G Yes. Which one? It's Every, we just install um, the gzip distribution, the latest one. That one? No, this that's the source. Okay. And we're not going to build it. Yeah, we're sure. just going to get the binaries in. So we download that thing. Mm. And now we need to bring it, or maybe download the curl package as well, so we're we yeah, sure. in one go. What do you want to have else? Python, right? Python is there too. This one. Oh, it's big. Yeah, that is big. Girl. That looks like a good one, yeah. Do we have enough, enough space for, for all of this? Yeah, because yeah, we created our big ah, set of okay. S where so we can now store everything. Oh, Python is even bigger. Yeah. Which one would you prefer to... Yes, that's, that's up to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this one is, good, is great. So we have curl, we have um, gzip. So now we need to bring that um, that tar file for gzip that we downloaded to the mainframe. Mm -hmm. You probably have a, a nice tool for that. Where we can do win SCP. Probably. That's better. That was quite fast, huh? That was quite fast. Now we see if that has worked for us. So go to our uh, USS session. It's our SSH session over there. Oh, no, that one. And then it should be here. So now all we need... Well, of course we need to read the manuals that came with the download from Rocket, but you only read the manuals if you really can't make it work, right? So we're just going to extract this file here. this work can I go to it and then just write yep yep well that kind of worked so now we have um, all the gzip binaries mm, on our system mm -hmm. but of course we need to add this to our path so that we can use it use it yeah um, that's something we will we will try for later, but to make it persistent, for now I just do the path equals dollar path with mm, slash rocket nope slash gzip gzip slash bin. Let's try. Ah. Right, so, so now we so can reach okay. those binaries. Yeah. Um, we will then make a place for our uh, curl. curl stuff. And then I'll let you upload the stuff there. Sure. Yeah, this is a bit bigger. Luckily, our Geschwindigkeit is unbegrenzt, huh? <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, 
Okay, so where are we? We've uploaded GZIP, added it to the path mm -hmm. so we can use it. Now we've uploaded curl or CURL. Um, so we're now going to have to make sure that that one is functional. Yes. Um, so let's see if our upload... That totally works. So we are now first going to unzip it. Ah, with a Z. Z is very tricky. Um, we are gonna unzip this thing. It'll probably take a while. Hopefully, our ZFS is big enough. Yeah. Which it is. Let's see. Oh, we're still good. So now we are left with a tar file mm -hmm. that we then have to extract as well. Right? Woohoo! No problem so far. No problem <laughs> so far. So now we have um, the curl in there. We need to do some reading up on the installation instructions from Rocket. But for now, we are just going to say that path. path equals come on path e equals dollar path append with slash rocket slash girl in and then we should be able to say curl http s no fancy URL we'd like to visit Mainframe.com. Right, so oh. we do have some SSL issues. Mm -hmm. Maybe we don't have the certificates on the system. That's something we need to discover. Um, do we know of any HTTP URL? HTTP. What was the um, URL we used for the, the flight data? Stuff. Remember that um, one? Well, that's also HTTPS. Um, no. Mm. No, wait, we'll just do this. See what we have here. Yeah, that's smart. Well, Curl is functional. That's it, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, si uh, Sebastian and uh, Henry. Uh, very interesting. One of the things that make a system elegant is that there are several ways to accomplish the same thing. And of course, uh, ZOS is a very elegant operating system. And I do things slightly different, but the procedures described by Henry and by Sebastian do work. And, uh, and uh, they are very useful because, um, as you can see here, if I want to do just a completion, uh, it's not possible on uh, on USS without all those tools. And so I do recommend to everybody to go and install the tools as recommended by, uh, by Simon and uh, Hendrik. Thank you very much for the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Moshix mainframe channel yet, now would be a good time to do it. Check out our repositories on GitHub. Check out our page on Facebook. Check out our channel on Discord. And... Uh, and see you soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.